my channel. So today we're doing a split cup ring pour on a 25 centimeter round. And I'm going to be using these acrylic paints. They're from the Action, they're pretty cheap. And I've mixed them with a little bit of Wattrel and nothing else because they're pretty thin. And I've got a little bit of a white cell activator because I want to do a bloom on top of the ring pour. So I use some Amsterdam titanium white and some Australian Floatrol. And then I've got a float extender and that's the titanium white from, from Blyswijk. Uh, so first we're going to have to decide how we're going to load up our little split cup. And I think I want it the pink on this side. So let's pour that in. I think I have in about half of the little container. So that's about 40 milliliters. I don't want to overflow the compartments because then it's hard to get the start of the pouring done. So that was the pink and I know it's probably not the best idea, but I'm going to put the neon green next to the pink. And I've kind of have a theory about this split cup and how to use it, but I keep forgetting to write it down. So every time I think, oh, now I know how to put my colors in, the next time I just forget. So the next one is going to be the teal green. It's more green than it's blue. So that's going to go in the other one. And I made this split cup myself, so the compartments are equal, not exact. So that's that color. And then we just have the blue and that's going to go in the outside compartment. Here are the colors and because this warbler is a little bit see-through you can see how high the paints are so they're pretty equal. So let's start to pour. I'm already seeing I'm not completely in the center. I'm just gonna try and get as much out as I can. I'm really liking the design, but it's way closer to this side than here. So I'm just going to slightly tilt it. I'm not going to add the white yet, but I want to try and get the center just a little bit more even before I add my bloom onto it. Okay, so let's add some of the white cell activator to the center. It feels really, really thin. So I'm really thinking, should I add a little bit more of the white? But let's just try it. That should be enough. Let's try and blow it out. Okay, let's give it some time. I think it's going to be a little bit too thick here. I did get to keep some of the nice colors in here. So I'm going to give this some time. Flux, I'm going to add my flow extender to the sides and then we'll be ready to spin it. Okay, so let's try and give it a little spin. As you can see, a lot of the weight of the paint is here. So I'm going to try and move it over. Let's try it again. I should have put it in my spin box because it's actually almost on my carpet. And I really want to try and keep the rest of the bloom. So I think I'm going to uh, tilt for the rest of it. I'm going to go over the far edge first. Probably could have done it without the flow extender. 
I think I'm going to try and keep a little bit more paint on here than I normally would because it's pretty watery. And I want to still be able to have it cover my canvas. But as you can see, if it stretches too far, it breaks up. But I just need to have it over that edge and then I can move it back to the side I just overstretched. And I really think it's my um, flow extender white that's making it break up. So I think I'm going to leave it as is. I'm just going to torch it a little bit more. And I'm not going to worry as much about my size. I can always paint them later. But yeah, this is the wet, wet result. I'm really liking these lines. So hopefully it will dry as it is. So I'll show you the dry results. And if you haven't seen my previous uh, bloom on top of a split cup pour, I'll put it in the eye up here and in the description down below uh, the, in the video comments. So uh, you can find it there. So I just wanted to show you um, before I'm going to move it from my table to the drying area that I gave it a little spin because there was a lot of paint in the center and the sides were really, really showing through. So now it's all nice and covered. It's a little bare here, but the rest is pretty good. So I'm, I'm really happy about that. So let's keep our fingers crossed and pray to the paint gods that it's gonna dry nice and I'll show you the dry results. It's three days later and it's all nice and dry. I did get a little bit of cracking but I actually don't mind the texture. I, I actually like it. There are some ridges so it's not completely flat but that's because I use a little bit too much of the white titanium. I really do like the contrast between the white and the colors and then I love the lines, how they work with it, the movement it creates by blowing on it. So yeah, I'm really excited about this piece. So please let me know what your thoughts are and what orientation do you think is best? I really like it this way. I also like it this way. So let me know down in the comments if you like the flower to be on the underside or on the top. So thank you for watching. Love to see you in the next one. Bye everyone!